everyone, it's Desiree, and I'm here with a different video, but I think a really special video. What I'm going to show you today is the Spellbinders new Glimmer Hot Foil system that has been released. So we're going to go through what's in the box. Of course, this is the packaging here. It's what it looks like. So I'm going to go through what comes in your package when you order yours, and also how to work with it. Um, like with anything that we do, there's always a learning curve. Um, nothing is perfect when we first open things out of the box. That's probably because for me, I don't read the instructions. So hopefully if you're like that, which I really hope you're not, maybe the things that I do to tell you not to do will help you, um, when you get yours in the mail. So what comes inside? I have to say that when you open the box, you will be able to get started immediately. There's nothing extra to purchase, which is really nice. Um, cause sometimes you'll, there's always something that you do have to get. Now I am going to keep this video in real time. Um, which is very rare for me, but I am going to do that. I want you to make sure that you don't miss anything. I want to be able to explain things to you. So this video is a little lengthy. So again, if long videos are not for you, this video is not for you. I'm just making that statement. So this is how the inside comes packaged. So they have those wraparounds. They're usually styrofoam and I usually fight with them, um, that are easy to pull off. I'm just being very gingerly when it comes to this because I'm a klutz and I don't want to break anything, but it is packaged very nicely. It's packaged very secure. That box is extremely sturdy. So great packaging. You get some instructions and the instructions are very clear. Please take the time to read them, read the warnings, read what's important, read the notices. They show you what's all going to come in the box as well. And then they give you instructions. So to use the glimmer plates in the hot foil system. That's the original. They give you step by step. They also let you know that with some etched and wafer, wafer thin dyes, you can use this system with that, with those as well. Um, that I will do one of, but I'm mainly going to focus on the glimmer plates. What's also great with this system is you can also letter press with it and they give you instructions and step by step how you can do that as well. Now I am not going to show that in this video. There's also other techniques out there. You can use uh, your inks on this so you can use your, your glimmer plates to stamp with and so forth. So I will have down below linked a couple of videos that I found helpful for me. Um, to learn it because again, I don't read instructions. So YouTube, that's how I learn everything. Um, and they, I found them very good. So let's get into the items. Of course, this is your plate. It's about, I'm going to say between a half to three quarters of an inch wide where my hand is right now. That is, and will be the hot area. Now what is nice is it's not burning hot. So you don't have to worry about if you accidentally touch it, are you going to scorch your hand? No. <clears throat> and you can see the handle on it as well. We'll talk about that handle. It comes with two types of foils, a silver and a rose gold. Again, starting right out of the box, you can get this going. And there's a lot there. I believe each one of those has about close to 15 feet. Of course you have the cord. Now I am in the States. So this is of course a U.S. Uh, cording system, but you have the one air, uh, the one end that will connect into your machine. And then of course the plug that will go into the outlet. So this does need the electrical cord, the adapter for this to run. It does not run on batteries in case anybody should want to know that. Now all the extra fun goodies, there's even more that comes in this. So you get these awesome tweezer, uh, tweezers. I am a fan of these tweezers very much. So you'll see why. What also comes in the kit is a glimmer plate. 
and you actually get two. So you get one that says best wishes, and then you have another one that's an oval frame. It's like a flourish design that's going around, which is great. And exactly how I set them down on that plate is how you will put them down. You want the design to face up. You get what's called a thin shim, and you can tell it's cloudy. That's because that's one of the next layers when you're working with this. You get a wonderful silicone mat, and that's for when you're done foiling, you can get your dies up onto that silicone mat so that they don't melt or burn anything. And then, of course, of course you have the clear um, shim. They're actually calling it a shim. This here is your base. You can see it's not that thick. It's not that big and bulky. It's just, it's a little bit larger in width and height as your platform for your spellbinders. It's the best way I can describe it. You have three lights, a button that's on the front. You have the connector that your plate will slide in. You have this opening on the back where you can wrap the electrical cord so that's out of the way and you don't have to find a spot for that. And of course, the, the um, on and off switch is to the back on the right hand side next to the plug to plug that in. Uh, that's why those tweezers are awesome. Awesome. Yeah, the magnet in them is great. It's also extremely strong, just say. So this is how you will connect your plate into place. You just slide it in there. It's very easy to go in. There's not much effort that is needed to push that into the connector. So let's get started and let's have some fun. Now again, this is the first time that I'm using this system. There's always a learning curve and I wanna make sure you see that, okay? So I've plugged it in and I've turned it on. So now we've got those three lights will first flash but the top one will stay on because that's the power. The next one down, when that lights up, that is going to tell you the plate is ready, meaning it's heated up. So now we can set our glimmer plates down onto the gridded area. Now, the, what I just said there, it is a gridded area. So you this can help you to make sure that they're straight, um, you know, if you're just using the design and so forth, don't use the tweezers, what I'm doing here. I just grabbed a pair of my scissors to make sure that I'm lined up within those grids for when I place down my cardstock. Um, if you use the tweezers, it's gonna connect because again, they're magnetic. So ask me how I know. Yes, there was many times I did that. Once I have the oval and my sentiment in place, I'm going to hit the button that is below the three lights. You will see that flash. So when that's done flashing, when that goes solid, that's when you're ready to put your foil on. Now this foil system is the opposite of what we already know. Now while that's flashing, you could be cutting your foil up, you know, cleaning up the area. This will take anywhere from, th I'm gonna say it's about 30 seconds. 30 to 45 seconds for that. Now you can see it's lit. So I've got all three of my lights lit. I'm placing the shiny side down, not up. Okay, remember your design is facing up at you. The shiny side of your foil faces down. Your cardstock will then go on top of the foil. Your shim is next. And then your clear plate. Now, I always forgot to pull it out first. So I my suggestion is, is pull the plate out just a little bit and make your layers. You'll see I it takes me a while to remember that. You're going to take that whole system and you're going to run it through your die cutting machine. Now again, it looks like I'm moving in slow motion. It's really not. I'm just being careful. Again, using this for the first time, very new. It's it's just what's happening here. So here come the awesome tweezers with the magnet in them. 
and you can see it just it, it's it's a strong magnet too it really does grab a hold so I moved that out of the way for right now you can remove it from your shims and again we learned so when I pull this off you can see that no it doesn't look perfect but it still looks beautiful I mean, wow, that foil is phenomenal. But I did. I shifted it around. Um, I had too big of a piece of foil, which it takes me forever to learn that as well. So when cutting your foil, you really want to make sure that it's close to the size of the glimmer plate that you're using. Because if it's larger, again, this is heat. This is all heat transfer. So again, I have this on, I put my plate black back in place. My light is solid. I set my glimmer plate on top of the hot plate. We got the plate going on a lot. I hit the button, I waited, and now I'm ready to set down shiny side foil down, design plate up. I'm gonna let those marry to each other. I'm gonna take a piece of cardstock and I'm going to place that down. I'm not really worried if this is going to be straight or not. And you'll see why. Here's where I realize, hmm, I wonder before if I put the plates on or the shims, I should pull this out first. Yes. I have my thin shim. I have the clear plate shim coming up. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Now my machine again is the platinum six that I have. I really do like it. Um, it's a very good machine if you are out shopping for one or looking for one. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to peel my foil back. And again, I'm getting there. I'm absolutely getting there. But again, cut the foil down. Um, yes, I'm wasting foil. I don't mean to, but again, I'm learning this system and liking what I'm learning. I mean, I do like those edges going on there. What's nice with this glimmer plate is it came with an outline die. So I can cut that image out. I have to play with the tweezers again, and that's how you would get them off your tweezers. So when you would pick it up, just twist it down onto the silicone mat push your plate back into place so that it can heat up. And then while you're waiting for that to heat up, you can be, you know, getting your foil, getting your next one ready and so forth. I do know that the time that it took me to show you these, the cutout and so forth, I am ready for my next one. My second light is lit. I'm now going to use joy. I've hit the button after I set my glimmer plate down with the design facing up. I've cut down a smaller piece. Now you could still even go smaller yet with the foil than what I'm cutting. I remembered before I put my foil, pull your plate out just a little bit, get it ready. It's not going to die down with the heat. It'll stay hot. Foil, cardstock, uh, thin shim, clear shim, pick everything up. Now you see how I'm holding that with my hand down by the handle. That is exactly how you want to hold that. You could pull it out and go to the sides, more to the side where your cardstock is. It's a little warm. Again, I did not get any blisters, but it is a little warm. So grab it with the handle. I'm going to remove my layers and now remove my foil. And I have a beautiful joy in the silver on navy blue cardstock. So I think that looks really sharp. Um, we're going to play again. I, I was having too much fun. I was getting on a roll. So I wanted to pull out one of my etched dyes. Now, this might not have been the right type of dye. Um... Because honestly, I didn't have the packaging and I wasn't quite sure if it was listed as etched. <laughs> but I'm going to place those down. I also grabbed a sentiment. Now, you can buy other foils. They are available. This one I have here is black. And I also had copper. Each roll 
does come with 15 feet of foil. So that's a lot. Now, again, I got a lot of paper going on here or foil going on there. But again, when it comes to the dies, the die cut side up, shiny foil side down, cardstock. Try to remember to pull that out once you get the dies on before you put anything else down. Thin shim, clear shim. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's funny. It's a process, though. Grab it by the handles, run it through your die cutting machine. Now, these tweezers are meant, they, they truly are meant for the, the dies themselves. Okay. So, again, they're, they're perfect for the dies. You can see that it did something because we've got all that heat going on. And I think it's really cool when I lift this off, especially with the sentiment. I think that is very interesting, very unique. Now, the area at the top kind of looks weird because, hey, that's supposed to be a heart. That's because there's an outline um, to this. And I'll actually show you what it looks like with it cut out. I'm going to push that back together and I'm going to turn this off. And again, you're just flicking the switch um, towards the right hand side. So again, it does get warm. It does have warnings all over, but it will not cause a blister. So these are the designs that we made. I forgot to pull in the very first one because again, you need to practice with it. It won't take long. It's a very, very easy system to use. Um, and one that I am truly looking forward to play with. Um, especially when it comes to the foils, what you can do with the foils. They have some wonderful designs available when it comes to the glimmer plates. Um, there are some beautiful ones there. I will definitely have links down below. Now I'm going to have multiple links. Uh, this system came out, I believe, yesterday. Um, it went it went live. Spellbinders is already sold out. Um, but there are other places that have it, and I will make sure that I link them down below. Um, so I'm just going to put together a couple cards. Let's not waste some of the foils that we did because they are absolutely beautiful. Solid coverage. Um, didn't even skip a beat uh, when it came to that. Now, what I do love about this is when you foil, again, it's very simplistic. And again, I've always said, sometimes simplistic is the best. And it truly is. Because when I put this dark blue with the silver joy on top of a piece of silver cardstock, it is one of the most elegant cards I think I've made. And very simple. And when I mean, I mean, it's like a champagne elegance. I don't, I'm not sure if it's something that I've always said. So guys are probably like, really? Champagne elegance? It, it is. Um, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a classic style. Um, but it, it adds beautiful detail when you're just doing one step. It does take a little bit to cool down. I didn't put these two um, into a card, but I just wanted to show you that's what they would look like. Um, so I think it's really interesting on the possibilities. I've just hit mainly on one, uh, one possibility. So it does take a little bit to cool down. I'm just going to reshow all of the pieces um, that do come in the box and what you get. I am going to say that it took about 10 to 15 minutes to completely, and I mean completely, completely like out of the box, um, cool down. So I am in safety. So I will say that again, you need to let it cool down. This is not something that you can just put away, you know, especially near papers right off the bat. Um, so you do need to let it sit, um, so that it can go through the cycle. I think it's a wonderful system. Um, it's really no time to learn. It's very easy to use. Again, after you put your plate down and it's heated up, just pull that plate out first, 
then add your layers, take it to your die cutting machine and bring it back. I think that will solve one headache for you. Cut your foils close to the size of your um, glimmer plate. So you could take the plate, put it up against the foil, cut the size out that way. I did not do that. So that's why I was getting a lot of it on the edge. You can see that there are other glimmer plates available that by my right hand. Um, that was just another one that, again, I didn't, you know, get to play with, but they have some beautiful flourishes, um, f pictures, uh, sentiments, just everything. You can see you get the silicone mat, the tweezers, you get two glimmer plates to start off with, and of course your two shims. So as I said before, right out of the box, you are ready to go with this. You can start... Um, playing around with it, getting used to it, and create your own beautiful creations with it. I hope everyone liked this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. If you have any questions on this system, or if you're looking, maybe I didn't show something, but I think, you know, I may have, and I may not have explained it. Again, ask those questions as well. Um, and I will make sure I get back to you. The products that I did use in here and all of the extras that are available, I'll make sure that are linked down below as well if you want to read into more information on it and just do your research. I'll also have other videos linked below to also show you other ways that this can be used. Maybe they have a different perspective as well. We all create differently, but we all create, and that's the beautiful thing. I hope everyone ha is having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you had a great weekend and all of that fun stuff. But always remember what's most important. Always be creative.